Oftentimes in our business, the only way for personal issues to be ultimately resolved is two superstars enter the squared circle and go one-on-one -on -one in a good old-fashioned wrestling match. Definitely looking confident in this one-on-one -on -one environment. We're going to find out a lot here tonight. Head to head, no excuses. Let's get it on. He looks absolutely unstoppable here. What a match this is going to be. I've been looking forward to this one for a long time, Cole. I have to say, when I think back on all the epic matches I've seen and been a part of in WWE, for pure entertainment value, John Cena's match against our friend JBL <laughs> at Judgment Day 2005 might have topped them all. I mean, that was a grudge match of epic proportions. Looking fresh out there, you're not going to lose many matches when you're competing at full health. A textbook maneuver there. Cena's now showing signs of fatigue. Can he do it? Can he dig down deep and fight out of this hole? And he lets him out. Well, he might have been losing some of his grip there anyway. He probably figured it would be better to release the hole now before his opponent could counter it. The moment in WWE history that you just brought up, King, right. John Cena's win in the main event at Judgment Day 2005 was one of the roughest, toughest matches in the annals of wrestling. Right. You know, our friend John may have come out on the wrong end of it, yeah. but you, I am sure, take pride in just having been a part of it. Oh, you're right, Michael. That was some match. And I know JBL likes to make excuses and still tells people he was sick that day. But you know what? I don't think that would have made one lick of difference. Nothing was going to stop John Cena that night. One. Look how slow he is to recover here. Two. That was some serious punishment. A Three. crippling slam to the mat. I'm not sure I can watch this. Right to the midsection. Oh, well, out here you have to be able to think Five. on your feet lightning fast. One mistake, one moment of hesitation, and you could Six. find yourself in a world of hurt. Well, when you look at the illustrious career of John Cena starting way back in 2002, Seven. and since then, 21 championships. An astounding accomplishment Whoa. and never a dull moment. Oh, no, you're right about that. And don't forget the 15 world championships. Two. 11 reigns, of course, as the WWE champion. This may settle the score. Oh, oh lights oh. out. Five. And he brings the action back inside the ring. Yeah, I, I, I think this is good strategy. Seven. Inside the ring now. Finally, let's get this done inside the ring. And the thing about John Cena that stands out, only Bob Backlund and Bruno San Martino have more days combined as WWE Champion. In the 11 reigns as WWE Champion, we were just talking about, that, folks, is a WWE record. He's making a statement here with this attack. A sickening thud as his body is driven to the mat. This guy's just too strong. Action like this has become synonymous with SmackDown over the years. Vintage Cena. He's setting it up. You know, Cole, more recently for John Cena, his reach extends beyond the... What a move! What a smart move! And this guy's on. Look out. John Cena with a nice reversal. Not today, too fast. Ooh, nothing pretty about that. 
I guess he's done with that move. Yeah, but what's he going to do next? John Cena is bleeding profusely now. He didn't need a GPS to find the mark. This match has taken so much out of this guy, he's not going to give up. But man, this has been physical. We're looking at complete domination here. Thinking to avoid that. is just one complete highlight reel. Good gosh, what a sick thud. This is inhuman. He is just getting busted up. We're seeing two outstanding athletes looking to prove their dominance in there. But only one can walk out victorious. Who will it be? Just imagine what it's going to take to get circulation back in the arm. That may not happen for a couple of days. Two. Three. Call your friends. Let them know what's going on right now in this awesome match. You're right about that. Cole, Four. call your one friend. Nobody controls the pace of a match quite like this guy. Six. Extra slow getting back to his base here. Seven. Eight. Now back to the ring. Did you see that? Did you hear that? It seems that someone is very comfortable using a weapon against an opponent. Hey, he's going dark. She blows the RKO. Who do you think you are, Captain Ahab? Three. Oh, man, I wouldn't mind a wireless mic right now. We don't want to be here much longer. Oh, this spells trouble right here. the table what destruction with absolutely no care for their own well-being that announcer's table has been completely annihilated good grief that thing looks like a pile of sawdust at a lumber yard Six. he wants this battle decided inside the Seven. ring and that's why he's such a great athlete such a, an important superstar Eight. oh geez that'll send your inside scrambling all over the place. No kidding. This guy's a mess. Two. Three. Oh, out of nowhere. Ow. Ooh. Well, the trick sometimes when you get outside the ring is survival. The match becomes almost secondary when you get near all these dangerous objects. Man, he's still down after that move. I almost wonder if his bell got seriously rung there. I've seen every episode of SmackDown over the years, and I assure you this one ranks right up there with the best. Not today. Too fast. Three. Oh, out here you have to be able to think on your feet lightning fast. One mistake, Four. one moment of hesitation, and you can find yourself in a world of hurt. Five. One of these guys is going to walk away with the win here tonight. I just can't imagine one of them also accepting defeat. Eight. Nine. One. Gonna have to shake off the moderate damage that's been inflicted here and find a way to maintain Two. the upper hand. And he delivers a vicious leg drop. Oh, Three. once you get out of the ring, anything can happen. You've got exposed steel, concrete, the barricades, Four. and all of it can be used to cause massive damage. Five. Six. 
six. You could call this a good old fashioned butt whooping. Yeah, that's exactly what we're witnessing. Seven. A butt whooping. Eight. Inside the ring now. Finally. Let's get this done inside the ring. You have to wonder what's going through these guys' minds in a match of this magnitude. Three! It's got to be hard to rebound from that one. Oh, out here you have to be able to think on your feet lightning fast. Four. One mistake, one moment of hesitation, and you can find yourself in a world of hurt. And there's some more emotion on display. Oh, his body has to be broken right now. We're looking at complete domination here. Seven. Eight. Back in the ring again. Good. Keep it in the ring, guys. You have to wonder just how widespread the back pain is. We'll find out soon enough. No kidding. This is bad. Look at this. They are KO. See you next time. Yeah, they'll never be the same after that RKO. Oh, looking to put an end to this one. Middle rope suplex. The end is near. The end is here after that. are down. One, two. Another electric crowd on hand here for SmackDown, as has been the norm over the years. Second time's a charm. Good grief! How is he still... There's the pan. One, Ken is a point kick two. out. Look at these two giving it their all. There's absolutely no quit in them tonight. One, two. I've seen every episode of SmackDown over the years, and I assure you this one ranks right up there with the best. Few superstars are as dominant as this guy. A suplex like that takes a lot of power and delivers a lot of impact. And he's heading back in. I can't blame him. Nothing good is going to happen out here on the floor. Oh! He needs to dig way down deep if he wants to keep going now. That's a textbook maneuver. And that's patented Michael Cole. Hey, the shoulders are down. Two. Action like this has become synonymous with SmackDown over the years. Shoulders down, this could be it. Count, Two. Breath, count. Three. He did it. What a huge win. Look who's come out here, Michael. Please join me in welcoming my guest tonight. Let's talk about Jack Swagger. 
You're currently slated to face him at the pay-per-view. What are your thoughts on him? Just another stepping stone to greatness. That's all he is. I'm looking forward to a win at the pay-per-view. Nothing else to it. There you have it. Back to you, Cole.